Um, I was speaking on you are a searcher. You are a searcher. And the text is Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2. So if we can read that, then we'll go there before the end of this message. One of the ways through which God displays his glory is by classifying or sealing things. So God reveals his glory. You know, one of the ways through which he reveals his glory is by classifying or sealing things. When he puts a seal on something, only kings can search it out. Now, salvation brings us into kingship. So the king being referred to here are the children of God. So anytime God put a seal on something, only kings can set it out. And you need to remember that salvation has brought you into the position of kingship. So everyone that is saved is a king. Every female saved is a queen. I hope you get it. Now, one of our primary assignments as believers is to search out the sealed things. Is to search out the hidden things. It is now in our ability to search out things that translate into, you know, it's our ability to search out those things that have been sealed that will translate into honor for us. When God put a seal on something, only kings can search it out. Kings are those believers who have grown in God to that point where they can search out things from the Spirit of God. <laughs> when you discover that there are too many questions around your life than answers, then it means there are too many sealed things around you. You will need kings to help you search it out. Can you see that? That's why you, you discover that um, in the Bible, um, one of the things that the major thing God used to bring Joseph to a, a leadership position was the ability to search out things. The king had a dream and he could not interpret it. And because, you know, Joseph is a son to the king of kings. So, Joseph in the spirit has become a king. And because he has become a king, he could search out hidden things. He could search out sealed matters. See, God knows how to bring you out. He knows how to do it. So, if God wants to bless you, it's easy. One, one thing he will have to do is just that. He will seal some things around you. Not against you but for you if god wants to promote you in your working place it's easy now he will just hide something and everybody will be looking for it they'll be looking for the solution and in their bid to get the solution they will come to you and because you are a king in the spirit you'll be able to set it out that's one of the strategy god uses to promote his children he deliberately seal things and then give the key to search it out to his children. And as his children now search out those hidden things, they become the leader. They become honorable. They become promoted. Let's check the Bible in the book of Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. Proverbs 25, verse 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Can you see that? So, when God conceals things, only kings can set it out. And those kings, remember, they are the children of God. They are those ones that have worked with God to that point where they can set out even things. One of the true signs of spiritual maturity is your ability to set out things. <laughs> Until you are able to set out things, many things will happen around you that... Um, you will not be able to explain. Your life will be filled with so many questions without an answer. Why? Because you don't have that ability to set out things. But salvation qualifies you for that reality. When you, you know, when you, when you, when you, 
you know, on the strength of your salvation, and you choose to walk with God to bring into reality those things that are that are embedded in in salvation which you have which you have received. So, you know, in a nutshell, you are a searcher. You are a searcher, searching for the sealed things of God. It is your ability to to search into the sealed things of God that will make you relevant. There can be a problem. There can be a problem in your community. Everybody wants to get a solution. And God will give you the key. And once that problem is solved, of course you know that you become honorable. May you receive grace to be a productive searcher in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget you are a searcher. And it is the glory of God to conceal things. So when God seals things, is 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 what he's doing is that he's just displaying his glory. That's how God displays his glory. He displays his glory by sealing things. Because the glory of God is revealed in sealed things. So th- those those children of God that will search out those hidden things must be those ones who have been familiar with the ways of God. Those who have been, who who understands the protocols of the glory of God. Are you there? So, it will be, it will take maturity, spiritual maturity, for you to be able to search into seal things and bring perspective to things that are not clear, things that are urgent issues, burning issues in the territory where you stay. I pray the Lord will help us. In the name of Jesus, we will receive grace to be a faithful searcher, a productive searcher. In the name of Jesus. Now, I pray for those of us that are in, in an, you know, in an environment, in a territory where there is an obvious problem. Now, because you have listened to this teaching, now the reality of this message begins to work in your life right now. In the name of Jesus, may you receive grace. To search into the sealed things in your territory. To have the solution to the problems of the territory where you stay. In the name of Jesus. God bless you.